MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Toronto Blue Jays and the New York Yankees. Yankees baseball is next. Jay Happ will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. At the plate, Bo Bichette. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Toronto, the shortstop. Ready Number to deliver. 11. Here's the first pitch. And a ball, 1-0. First pitch, one o'clock. Clear skies in the forecast this afternoon, 62 degrees here at first pitch. The 1 1 home misses for the second ball. Now the 2 1 is in there for the second strike. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2 2. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3 2. And the day begins with an out. There's one away. That is the designated hitter, Kevin Pizio. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Kevin Biggio, in past meetings with Jay Happ, two hits in seven tries. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And that's taken high and outside for ball one. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. Uh, you touched on it, d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players. He makes them earn their keep. Now the one-and-one one pitch. It's a fastball taken high for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Judge is in his tracks now. And that's out number two. That is third. The third baseman. Number 27. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First offering on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Two out, nobody on. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. The 1-1 one -one home. Slow roller out to short. Torres scoops it up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. Blue Jays nothing. The Yankees coming to bat. Major League Baseball on the show. Matt Shoemaker, a right-hander from Michigan, is the starter on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, the maker of shoes, Matt Shoemaker. Split fingers his best pitch. Good fastball, not a great one. 91 to 93 miles an hour. Split finger is the key for Matt Shoemaker. Has the straight changeup to go along with it. You'll know if he's on early. Lots of swings and misses on the splitter. In now, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he takes ball one. A 
A ball and a strike now. Now the one and one pitch. This one's flared toward left center. Coming in is Hernandez, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first after their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board. The boys are flying around. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Pitch out, nothing doing. Gardner gets his lead at first, nobody out. Yeah. A ball and a strike. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. Line towards center field. In there, a base hit. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Digging in, Aaron Judge, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the belt, the pitch. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Here's the 0-1. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Bond, he got him to chase after a bad one there. Two and two. First and second here with nobody out. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. In the air out toward right field. Fisher moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. The pitcher, Gary. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Runners are at the corners with one man out. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. The short hit hard. And a base hit as the run will score from third, and the Yankees score first. It's one to nothing. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. 0 oh, and 1 the count. a look now the pitch 
Hit hard up the middle. Panic is there to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Yankees forced to settle for one. On now to the top half of inning number two. It's the Yankees one, the Jays nothing. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Here comes the first pitch. Starts him out with the slider for a strike. Pulled high in the air out to left field. On the move is Stanton. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. That is it. The first baseman, number three, Brandon Drury. So one away here with the bases empty. And into bat next, it'll be Brandon Drury. First offering on its way. Hey! Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at 1. Yankees lead this 1 to nothing here in inning number 2. A 2 and 1 count to the Blue Jays' first baseman. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. Gone! He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. It's a solo homer for Brandon Drury, as the Blue Jays are even now at one run apiece. You're going to get one fastball right down the middle, probably once or twice a game, and you cannot miss it. And he did not miss it. He roasted that pitch. That is it. Here's Joe Panic. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. This is line to left. Uh, this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. The center fielder, Randall Griffith. So bases are empty here with two gone. And the big right-handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. First offering on its way. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Now the one and one pitch. Check swing and a pop up now to the left side. LeMahieu is there and the side is retired. But the Jays are able to tie things up thanks to the solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. All even at one apiece. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. For the Yankees. The shortstop. Glaber Torres. First pitch coming. Here it is. All one, no strike. The 1 0 home. We got a ball, one strike. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. 
Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Full count now. Now the three and two pitch. The bouncer to the left side. And there's one away. Batting seven. The second baseman. Tyler. Wade. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. First pitch of the at bat. And he lays off there 1 and 0. One out, nobody on. A bouncer up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. Kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Runners going. Pitch inside the throw. Short hop, but they got him. Great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag. But he got rid of it quickly. And it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. Liner towards second. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the 8 9 hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Wow, and the hits just keep piling up for them. Take a look at the numbers here. That's already six hits, and we're only in the second inning. We'll see if they can keep this up as the innings go on. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Ready with the 0 and 1. This is on the ground over to first, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. Through two, we're tied one apiece. Derek Fisher the next to bat. He's off for Toronto. The right fielder. Derek Fisher. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that fastball is taken but catches the outer third. Well there are the judges chambers and what a cool thing it's become here in the Bronx and well deserved for Aaron Judge of course with the way he exploded onto the scene as a rookie in 2017. What a magical year 2017 was for Aaron Judge. The slogan, all rise, fit him perfectly. What's really cool about it was the Yankees weren't even sure he was going to make the team coming out of spring training. He emerged into the scene, was the talk of baseball going into the All-Star break, finished that off with a powerhouse end of the season, one of the best young players the game in baseball has seen in a long time. All rise, Aaron Judge. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. At the plate, Reese McGuire.
First pitch on its way. Hey. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Lifted down the line and left. Stanton on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting, number 11. So it's back to the top of the order now. And in the bat next, the legacy, Bo Bichette. He's ready now. The pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Oh, one pitch on its way. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one -one tie. Hit toward the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter. Okay, with two strikes right there. He didn't try and do too much. He took what the pitcher gave him, got the front foot down, and was able to fist feed a soft liner over the infielder's head for a knock. At the plate now, Kevin Biggio lays off 1-0. From the belt kicks and deals pulled high in the air out to right field judges under it two down now that is number 27 striding in once again Vladimir Guerrero Jr. he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far First offering on its way. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And not in time as the second run scores. Man, they already hit one home run, and I thought they had a second one right there. Not quite enough behind it, though, as it banged off the wall for a double. He's giving up a fair amount of solid contact right now. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Has a look, now the pitch. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Here's the 0 and 2. Popped him up. LeMahieu is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Blue Jays three and the Yankees one.
And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. One for one after a single this first time up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. And a bit That's too high with that one. It's 1-0. One no and a good heater as he just watches this baby. A ball and a strike. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. The batter, the right fielder, Aaron God. Here's big Aaron Judge. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. The 1-0. Outside, that's the ball. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Swinging away there, it's 3 and 1. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Third inning here, three to one our score. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Another full count pitch on its way. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The next three, two. Line drive to center field. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. This will chase one up around the letters here for strike one. A base hit in his first trip. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. I don't even think I need to look in the dugout on this one. I think it's safe to assume he's going to be running. Too good a hitter at the plate not to think he's going to put the ball in play. The three-two pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. I know one thing, he earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Digging in for his second at bat, Giancarlo Stanton.
from the stretch. Here's the pitch. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Behind 0-2 now. You could tell he was guessing right there, and he certainly wasn't guessing change up. That pitch was in his wheelhouse, and he was late. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. A tag for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. On now to the top of inning number four. Toronto leads this one three to one. Brandon Drury will bat next as we begin the top of the fourth. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Now the pitch. And he lays off for ball one. Strike swinging, chased a high one there. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. Definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too much of the plate. Nice execution by the hitter. Go. In now, Joe Panic. And there he goes toward second. The bouncer to the left side. Reined in. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now that the center fielder, Randall Grichuk. Stepping in, Randall Grichuk, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now that right fielder. Derek Fisher. Digging in, Derek Fisher, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's set and the pitch. First pitch here is softly hit down the line to third. Throw on to Voigt, takes care of him, and the inning is over. One left for Toronto as the lead remains three to one. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said they're doing a really good job of hitting off the fastball today. So far, six of their hits have come off the hard stuff, so it seems like they're certainly timing those pitches well. Guys? Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. So striding in, Torres is set game. to lead us off in the home Not half of the fourth stop. inning. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. This is skied out toward right. Fisher's under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batter, the second baseman, Tyler Way. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Wade, one for one after a single his first time up. Pitch on the way. 
And no swing, apparently. Ball one. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. The 1-0. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Take a look at this again in slow motion. He tracks this oh, thing yep, all yep, the yep. way, gets his hands yep, quickly yep, through yep, the yep. zone, and yep, just yep. rips it down the left field line, oh, just hard. how they draw it up. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. That's a ball. ball one. A base hit in his first trip. Yep, one and oh. Now the 1 0. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. 3 to 1 is our score here in inning number four. Now a move over to first, and the runner back safely. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Ball three. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Hey you know the pitcher right now he's looking for that best friend that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. The next three two. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Now back first base Now at the plate, Luke Voigt. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Strike one to start the at bat. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. One run, eight hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Here's Brett Gardner now as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. A hit in two tries for him so far. Shoemaker comes set. 0-1 oh, on its way. Now a fastball here. Not close and it's one and one now. He's ready now to pitch. And that one got a piece of him. Well, as a leadoff man, the team looks for you to get on base any way you can. This isn't the preferred route, at least for him, but hey, they'll take it. Digging in once again, DJ LeMayhew, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at bat. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. 
Clearly, this is a tough situation to be on the mound, but the key here is minimizing. They're up by two, so if he could find a way to get out of this bases loaded jam by only giving up one run, that would be clutch. One and two to DJ LeMay here. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Swing and he pops him up. And this should get him out of it. Panic is there as he makes the catch and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. So they load the bases on just one hit but three men are left stranded. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Blue Jays three and the Yankees one. Into the box Reese McGuire. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The catcher. Number ten. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. That's inside. The 1-0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. And able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. Could take there to lay off the high fastball. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Gardner. But he can't get there. This splits the outfielders and heads toward the wall. And the Jays are in business now. It's a leadoff double. Managers these days like to think of that nine hole hitter as the second leadoff man and he plays the role pretty well right here gets the leadoff double and now he gives the real leadoff man a chance to bring him home. Into the box now Bo Bichette as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike one for two in the ball game thus far. I uh, just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0 and 2 now. From the stretch. Grounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball and the count holds it 0 and 2. Line drive to left. Stanton is there and he'll bring this one in. The batter, number eight, designated hitter, Kevin Biggio. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Kevin Biggio. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Hey. And a strike to even the count. One and one. A ball and two strikes. Two strikes. The one two is laid ball off for ball two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Here now the 2-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. to the plate now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 
as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. The 1 0 is swung on and missed strike one. Three runs five hits and no errors in the game for Toronto. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt kicks and deals. Line towards center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. Blue Jays held in check and it's still three to one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Digging in and looking for more. Aaron Judge. A fly out and a single for him so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 1-0. Misses off the plate. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. and Now the 2-0. Yep. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Taking all the way that time, it's three and one. Three and one. Three. bailed him out with a swing, three and two now. He's probably frustrated with himself now after swinging at what should have been ball four. Time for a deep breath. And that misses ball four now to lead off walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. And I'm sure the manager is just okay. fine with that. I mean, get it's ready. better to battle a slugger like that to the that's end and good. end up walking him than serving one up or he can really hurt you. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. It was a walk in his last trip. From the stretch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. This guy uses that two seamer to set up his other pitches. Two seamer in, breaking ball away. That's a ball. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Now the 2-1 pitch is outside for a ball. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. The three and one pitch. And he lays oh, off yeah, there, ball there. four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters. But he's got to focus here because this guy in the five hole is just as dangerous. Giancarlo Stanton now. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. From the belt, kicks and deals. 
Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that splitter again. He's looking for a double play, and that pitch certainly has enough depth on it to get him a ground ball. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. The 2-0 on the way. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit out towards second. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with now still down. nobody out. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to think. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. set here it comes hit sharply on the ground to the left and that's through into left a base hit one run is scored oh but it's offline so the run will score hey after being down by two getting into the middle of this one that's a huge base hit right there Dero big two RBI knock yeah down by two right there able to come through for the team and we probably got an exciting finish on our hands Ready once again, Tyler Wade. And it seems like maybe they're starting to get to the guy on the mound a bit now. Yeah, and that could be a sign that he's starting to wear down a little bit, Matt. The first thing to go when you're getting tired is usually your command. So even if you're throwing strikes, they might be a little bit more hittable than they were earlier in the game. All right, something to keep an eye on if he remains in the game much longer. To panic covering. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Next will be the designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the at-bat. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Still only one out in the inning. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. The 1-1 one, one is strike two swinging. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well-executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Runners are at first and third. One away. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Digging in to try it again. Luke Voigt. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plane. Throw to second, and he's out. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Yankees lead this one four to three. Leading off for Toronto, the left fielder, Teoscar. Stepping in now, Teoscar Hernandez, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the 
1 0. Ball inside. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep, too. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. At the plate, Brendan Drury. And it's grounded just foul down the line. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope, outside. 4 3 our score here as we play inning number six. hit hard towards center and another base hit for him now three for three in this one well these days don't happen often you better dig yourself when you get three knocks in a big league way go it's hard to have three hits in one day but boy this guy is off to a great start in this one standing in now Joe Panic. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. No hits to this point. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Just got a piece of that one. Perhaps shortening up now will get the ball in play. Runner at first here, one man out. Heading out towards shallow right. Judge is on his horse. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Up next to the Blue Jays, the center fielder, Randall Gritchick. Randall Gritchick at the plate now. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. A runner on first with two away. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. This ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. From the stretch. Ball match up side. Good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. 
Ready for another shot now. Derek Fisher. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Two men are on with two men out. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Drury isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. Safe at the plate. It's a 4-4 game. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Out two out. outs, two strikes on the batter, and he's able to throw out a ribby knot. Dero, it's hard to get more frustrated than that as a pitcher. You're one pitch away from getting out of a lot of traffic on the bases, getting into the inning, and next thing you know, you give up a two-out, two-strike base hit. Nothing more frustrating for a pitcher than to have that happen. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And that will bring an end to the appearance by Jay Happ. So he'll leave with a couple of runners aboard that are his responsibility, meaning he'd be happy to get out of here with a no decision. Luis Sessa trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. In now, Reese McGuire. That's the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Two men are on with two men out. Down the first baseline. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. A run on two hits here for Toronto. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. And we are tied 4-4. Thomas Pannone enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Brett Gardner. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. First pitch of the at-bat. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there, 1-0. and oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. and oh. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. In there, a base hit. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. This game has been full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap to clear him. Into the box now. DJ LeMay here as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. The second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. But boy, was he ever upended at second base. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond. But now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. Pitch on the way. 
And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Now the 1-0. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. 4-4 is our score as we play the sixth. And he'll miss the target there with the curveball, and it's two and one now. To two and two now. Two and two. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Yankees. Six innings are in the books, all square, four to four. New inning set to get underway. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Bo Bichette. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non competitive off speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Now the 1 0 is a sharp slider taken low for a ball. Three and oh now. Ball three to a leadoff hitter that can run. Not the greatest way to start this right here. I think right now you really have to start pouring some pitches into that strike zone. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Hey, excellent job to get yourself back in this count after throwing three consecutive balls. You got a chance to get an out right here. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. It looked like this at bat had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3-0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not always easy to do. Into the box, Kevin Biggio. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Oh, and one, here it comes. Behind oh, and two now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Stanton is camped under this one. And he's got it for out number two. The batter, number 27. So coming to the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dunk. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Still all square at four apiece. Last half of the seventh here, so here's the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. The catcher. Gary Sanchez. And the pitch. Ball. First pitch of the inning misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1 and 0. Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. 
But it bends just foul into the second deck. Here it comes on one and one. And it's one and two. One and two. Curveball grounded towards second. Fielded by Panic. On to first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seventh. And this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. So striding forward now, Giancarlo Stanton. He's working on a one for three thus far. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And he fouls this one off. All knotted up. 4-4 the score here in the seventh. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2-1 and one now. Chin high, that's taken for a ball. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The three and one pitch. Ah. Four count, three and two. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. So a runner at first now with one away, and that will bring up Glaber Torres. He comes set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. Two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Working for the punch out and the offering. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Payoff pitch home. Hit back up the middle. And that is through into center field. A base hit. And he is in there at third as the possible go-ahead score. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Stepping in, Tyler Wade. So far, two for three in this one. First offering on its way. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. 1-0. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. and If he concedes the walk here, he's in real trouble of giving up a big inning. It's not all that bad yet, 
but dealing with the bases loaded will make it pretty tough to wiggle out of. And he gets the call there, three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. On a line to shortstop. Now batting. The designated hitter. Miguel. Big spot here. Runners at the corners. Two gone. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. No balls in one strike. Ready with the 0-1. High and deep down the left field line. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Runners on first and third, two away. Count remains at 0-2. No balls, two strikes. Lined into right field, and it's going to get down. A base hit. Coming in to score is the runner from third, and they've taken the lead here in the seventh. Hey. On to second, but he's in safely as a run is also win, and with it, they take the lead. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, especially that, especially when you start to score runs late in game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one makes you feel really good about yourself. Justin Miller takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt, as he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Hernandez is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. We're through seven this afternoon. It's now 5-4 New York. Chad Green has been summoned from the bullpen, as he'll do so to start the eighth. Leading off the inning to Oscar Hernandez Leading as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fouled off. Ready with another 0-2. And a swing and a miss there on a late-breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff man on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing.
So now to the plate, Brendan Drury, as he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The one two. Misses ball two. Here now the two two. Bases are empty, one man out. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Standing in now, Joe Panic. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. One and one the count now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Now the 2 1 pitch, and it's fouled away. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. The three of us are back with more following this. Now at the plate, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Gardner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to left. Hernandez is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Digging in, D.J. LeMayhew. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of a baseball like season. Either. Bottom Number line is this guy has bat to ball Error. skills. You knew he was going to yeah. get hot eventually. Yeah. 
at the plate now Aaron Judge as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. On its way the 0 1 pitch. One and one. Cold strike on the inside and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there two away. Now batting. Stepping into the box. Gary, Gary Sanchez. A hit in two Gary. tries so far. Here's the first pitch to him. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Two out with the man at first. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Yanks leave one. They lead it five to four. Your attention, please. So with a safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard throwing left hander Aroldis Chapman. Here's Randall Gritchick. It was a walk in his last trip. Randall Gritchick. First pitch on its way. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Too high, ball two. You'll hear me say this time after time up here in the booth. You fight so hard to get into these counts. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. They don't happen often. This is a huge spot. Count leverage. Look for him to get loose on the fastball right here. Two balls and a strike now. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Mortis Guriel will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 13, Mortis Guriel. Fouled away. Corner and slicing foul. Oh. 
Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Into the box now, Reese McGuire. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Oh, a hard hit ball that'll be caught over there at first. Pretty much right in the glove that time, and the inning is over. Man, facing Chapman is not for the faint of heart as he unleashes fireball after fireball. Gets the final out here and another save. What a weapon Chapman is. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. The Yankees jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Luis Sessa takes home the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.